Hey guys, it's Dave from Dave's Dimension. Welcome back for another live stream. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're doing well. Let me get that reflective glasses off. So how is everyone doing today? Everyone having a great Tuesday? I know I am. We got a new trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Is everyone having a great Tuesday? I know I am. Oh, looks like we got we somebody got a watching. New trailer for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Sorry about that. Hey everyone, how's it going? As you can see, it's Tuesday. I'm not usually on Tuesdays, but I wanted to do a little short stream here talking about Ghostbusters Afterlife, the trailer that came out today, among a few other things. Hey, Greedo and Espedo, how are you doing today, my friend? Did you catch the new Ghostbusters trailer that dropped today? I know it's all the it's all the rage on social media's Twitter's going crazy. We got, of course, Instagram, Facebook is going nuts with it. I just wanted to do a quick live stream because I actually uh, recorded a reaction today and I got copyright claims on the reaction. Even though it's a video on YouTube and I was making commentary, I still got flagged. So I removed that video. I don't want to ruffle any feathers with uh, Sony because it was Sony that actually uh, did the claim against me. So I removed it. So I decided to come on here. Uh, what did you think of it, Greedo? Did you like it? Are you excited for the movie, or are you a little bit on the fence? I know there are some people who are kind of like, well, I don't know. It's a bunch of kids, but to me, it was a home run. It knocked it out of the park. It was tremendous. And by the way, if anyone watching wants to jump in on the stream and actually discuss it, just let me know. I'm actually going to drop a StreamYard link right in there. Greedo says, looks interesting. Any new Ghostbusters is fine with me. Yeah, and I mean, it's not just new Ghostbusters. We're getting a lot of, uh, to me, they hit all the right notes with it. Um, I mean, if you watch, if you saw the whole, whole, the whole trailer, I've watched it about seven times already. Um, I mean... Seeing the Ecto roar once again, and for that to be the one vehicle in that farm that has a working engine, of course, it would be the one to roar to life. I practically started losing it when I saw Janine show up, and she's got the red red glasses, and it was just, to me, it was just hitting all the right notes. Um, it was tremendous. I mean, um, seeing her... Like, uh, you see the terror dog burst out of uh, Walmart, very much like how it bursts out of Lewis's apartment when it starts chasing him. I mean, we had that. We, I mean, I love all the practical effects that were in the, were in the trailer. I mean, Jason Reitman, he's, he, I, I hate to say it, I actually got to say this, I think he's probably one of the last old school directors. When I mean old school, yes, he is relying on the special effects. But he's keeping the practical effects. Like you see the uh, the dead mine worker who walks into that diner. You know, we see that. It definitely looks like ghosts are climbing out. It does. It does, Greedo. <clears throat> um, that blew me away. I mean, there's so so many callbacks. I mean, you see, uh, you see the the granddaughter watching the uh, commercial on YouTube, and of course, right at the end. You see the red phone, you see the neon sign that says occult books, and you hear Ray's voice saying, we're closed. I mean, that was just, I was hoping to see Vankman or some mention of Vankman throughout the, the trailer, but obviously it's going to happen soon. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. We got the Darth Blaze himself blazing up YouTube left and right. Hey, Darth Blaze, how you doing today? Ghostbusters looks amazing, hyped about it. Uh, working on some stuff right now, but hope that the stream is going great. Yeah, I just decided to do a quick stream. Uh, I was telling uh, our boy uh, Greedo and Espedo, um, I got hit with a copyright claim doing a reaction video to the trailer. So I removed that video, and I wanted to kind of get my thoughts out here. This way, there's no copyright claims. It's just me, myself, and I, you know, all the voices in my head. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Whatever you're working on, I'm sure it's going to be fire because everything you do is blaze. 
So uh, thanks for dropping in. Appreciate that, brother. Yeah, I'm psyched for Gozer. I'm curious to see what form Gozer is going to take. Obviously, it looks more like the original Gozer from the first film. Um, I'm really stoked about it. Like, I just, I want more. Um, it, now, if you guys don't know, there's actually, there was a trailer that dropped. And then there was also a breakdown video dropped by the director, Jason Reitman. Where he spoke about, one, how, their goals, their thoughts, their motivations for the movie. And some uh, very cool details. The Ecto-1 is actually rocking a Corvette engine. They put a Corvette in, <laughs> engine in the 59 Caddy so it can make those sharp turns, so it can move as fast as they needed to, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, again, pulling out the original special effects, like we see all those spirits bursting out of that mountain, out of that mine. He even spoke how those are actually a lot of the original effect styles that they used in the first movie. So, I mean, those are some awesome callbacks. I, I'm just, like, I'm just chomping at the bit. I mean, I got some crazy theories, too. Greedo says he'll be back. When Janine showed up, one thing that kept popping in my head was, okay, one, why is she there? Because, I mean, she wouldn't, if, that, if she was Egon's wife, she wouldn't just... Referred to him as Egon to Egon's daughter, which is a little see. That's my that's my train of thought. I'm wondering if because there's a line in the original movie where Janine says, you know, she's she tells Egon that her and women in her family have always been very sensitive, that they're very clair, clairvoyant. What if she really was, and what if she was somehow tuned? to Egon's essence or spirit, and that's why maybe she shows up. I don't know. It's probably something other than that, but that was a nice little thought in the back of my head. I'm like, well, what if maybe Egon's essence, his spirit, is somehow urging her to watch over his family because maybe he knows that there's something that's going to be afoot. So um, that's one little crazy thought I had. Um, I'm really psyched. I mean, I'm blown away by it. There's a lot of new toys that came out today, too. Let me see if I can pull up some images so I can show you guys. They have new Plasma Series figures. Now, about a year, year, year and change ago, they had the first black Plasma Series figures, which I have up there, which are, came with uh, a Build-A-Figure part for a Terror Dog. Now, a couple, maybe a couple weeks back, uh, Hasbro unveiled a new version of those with a glow-in-the-dark slime, and everyone's going to have a... a proton stream for each of the packs today they unveiled plasma series for everyone what i mean everyone are the three kids okay so each of them have their own plasma figure and the three ghostbusters they unveiled likenesses for uh ray peter and winston so we're yeah we're gonna so that's kind of a spoiler that we know that they're gonna be suiting up. Uh, what we got here? We got uh, Rob's Pipe and Road. Uh, yeah, they definitely nailed it. Um, perfect way to reintroduce it. I'm loving it personally. I'm just blown away by it. I mean, as you can tell, I don't know. You, I've never seen your name before. You might be uh, new new to us. Um. I do a lot of toy reviews, but you can see I'm heavily centric in Ghostbusters. In fact, I'm wearing my uh, Ghostbuster uniform. I'm actually a part of the Buffalo Ghostbusters. We're a charity cosplay group, but uh, as you can tell, you know, I rock the, the gear. I got the couple Proton packs. Got my main pack right there. Got another pack right behind me. And also I do a little bit of a... Back to the Future Ghostbuster cosplay. So we do a lot of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that video, that trailer killed it. Um, I'm just, One thing that freaks me the hell out was that RTV, the remote trap vehicle, that sucker was going pretty damn fast to stay ahead of the Ecto. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that they love how the three kids in the Ecto, it seems like everyone has a job. You know, uh, the older brother's driving. Uh, the goofy kid named Podcast is 
probably controlling the remote control car. And then the granddaughter, she's rocking the, the proton pack on the gunner seat. So it seems amazing. Okay, he says, and I had just gotten around to watching several 80s classics with my daughter this summer ones to show her where a lot of the influences for those things. She watches like Stranger Things, Marvel. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I love that we're getting, obviously, because like uh, Greedo pointed out, uh, Gozer. It looks like Gozer climbing out. So that's going to be stoked. That's going to be pretty interesting. Um, obviously, we get, there's a lot of, uh, we see the terror dogs. Uh, the build a figure that Hasbro's releasing, it, it's kind of a spoiler. It's almost like a spe half spectral, half uh, terror dog, but it's standing upright. So maybe this could be the next version of the Traveler that goes or su somehow summons. We don't know. So timing couldn't be better as ne neither of us had any idea it was coming. And it looks so good. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, nobody in the community really knew that the trailer was coming out until yesterday. Jason Reitman did that official announcement that the trailer would be coming out tomorrow, meaning today. And they've knocked it out of the park. Um, also, if you're a big Ghostbuster fan, they just released a uh, Sony released an official Ghostbusters app. This app is is got uh, basically image stickers and gifts that you can uh, jump on. You there's an AR experience, so you can actually make the Ecto look like it's right in your driveway. That's pretty cool. Um, they also have filters, so if you want to take a picture. Uh, there's also a speed trap game that they have on it. This is available on both Android and Apple. Let me see if I can pull up one of the filters. Let me just do this real quick. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. So I'm going to take a quick little picture and I'll show you guys the image. So there we go. It's, I know it looks really, really bad, but you get the little frame right there. So yeah, you got different uh, filters to choose from. We have that with the plasma field. You always got to have the hazard tape. The little mini puffs. I don't know how well you guys can see that. There you go. More mini puffs. I think those are going to be the no, the new Grogu for the next year. Nice little plasma field with the Ecto right there. I mean, they're giving us some pretty cool stuff right now. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting some of the Hasbros to add to our, our shared collection of different figures from things we enjoy. Yeah, I mean, take a look at the dimension here. I mean, I have NECA, Back to the Future. I have Star Wars Black Series. I got a whole section of Power Rangers. I have Marvel. I have the new uh, Masters of the Universe. I mean, collecting those figures. And, of course, I have my Ghostbusters section, which is an entire bookcase and the top section up there. I mean, um, as you can tell, I also have the license plates. Ecto-1, Ecto-1, Ecto-1A, Afterlife Ecto I have up there. I got my little patch collection here. So Ghostbusters is near and dear to my heart. So trust me, I understand that. And also, you know, being in so many different collections. Now, um, there's a, some people are already floating around a lot of rumors. Like one person said, well, what if the what if the guys show up to, to help the kids, but they show up in a beat up or run down Ecto-1A, which I think would be kind of cool. So, I mean, there's a lot of different theories. Um, I know some people don't want the cheesiness. Like, uh, you know, what if you know, they're battling the big bad and then one person's knocked out and then that person stands back up and it's really Egon's spirit or something like that. I've heard a few people say they're not, they really don't want to see anything like that. Um, I mean, it all depends on different people's tastes and different people's flavors. Um, I definitely think they, they should go a little bit original and not something as predictable or... Um, fan servicing is that, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm trying to see if I can pull up some of the toys so I can show you guys. Um, 
In fact, I know a few people who picked up some uh, Afterlife toys today. The uh, There's a, a younger kid version of the Ecto that was released. So let me uh, share my screen here, guys. So right here, uh, let me see here. This is actually on CNET. Um, and I should have said spoiler first, but uh, a lot of this is going to be spoilery because obviously we're going to see the guys as they are older. But it's also, let's go, uh, let me show it to you guys. So as you can see right here, we get Ray, Winston, and Peter. And then we get the kids right here. We get a good size uh, RTV, remote control trap right there. Also planning on watching Blue. Yeah, Blues Brothers is a definite, my friend. Uh, Blues Brothers is a favorite. I mean, it's a John Landis, Dan Aykroyd film. It's amazing. John Belushi, who is going to be the Bankman character in Ghostbusters, but he passed away, sadly, in 1983. I want to say 83, yes. Also enjoy exposing her to more good stuff from actors and writers, directors. Awesome. Oh, what a do, what a do. Nathan Bowden Show, the Nathan Bowden Show. Anyone who's watching the stream right now, if you are not subscribing to this man, you are losing out tremendously. Nathan Bowden does some amazing content. He's the man when he he is the the master of disaster. The doc is shock. He's the guy you want to go to for anything and everything uh wrestling related, and he does some amazing uh incentives. Uh Action tour reviews. This man does it all. You never want to miss out on him. Well, we got bearded, uh, bearded geek toy reviews. How are you doing today? It's the perfect teaser trailer. Not giving away too much, but wetting our appetite for the movie. We're really looking forward to it. Yeah, um, Jason Reitman. I mean, he he's amazing. You know, he didn't want to give too too much away, but as you know, the toy makers have already spoiled a whole bunch already. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to find out more as we go. Oh, we got the Salacious One. Salacious Rum. Hey, Mr. Dave, are you hyped with the new movie? Trailer excitement? I've only watched the trailer about seven or eight times. I'm holding myself back. Of course, I was working today. So that explains the, the downtime. Now, I'm just showing some of the figures here. So we get the, we get the older brother. His love interest, which obviously he's going to hook up with. I mean, let's be honest. We get podcast. And then we get uh, the granddaughter right here. Now, if you notice, anyone who's been a Ghostbusters fan for the past year, you remember last year Hasbro came out with the Spangler wands, okay? In fact, I have one right here in one of my spare packs, okay? Let me show you guys. So this is the Spangler wand. This is basically the version that you see on Phoebe's uh, Proton Pack right there okay it's got the the grip and we got the shotgun mount because it features the weapons from the video game now we'll see if they actually feature it in the movie so this is the one hasbro came out with last year runs on a couple triple a uh no double a batteries extends the barrel you got the weapon effects and you can switch to slime blower, stasis, and also boson darts. So we had that last year. So it's cool that she's the only one who actually has it. Now, what some people are actually theorizing is that maybe she's the one who makes it. She finds, you know, Egon's plans to incorporate those weapons, but maybe he never finished it before he passed away. So some people are coming up with the theory that she's the one that maybe might put those together, or maybe she finds it hidden somewhere. It was one that was never unveiled, so we'll see what happens. Now, if someone would just make a proper $6 million man movie for me, hey, you never know. That could be next. Wow, that is me. <laughs> but we got that. Um, here we go. We have older Ray. 
with the receding hairline, a little bit of gray. We got the particle stream right there. Here we go. Gray-haired uh, Bill Murray. Venkman. Winston. There we go. No, she's got a purple stream on hers. Her, let me uh, reshare the page. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I scroll back up. So here we are. We got the guys right there. They have their regular Neutrona streams. But when we get down to, uh, to the boy, uh, to the older brother's uh, love interest, she's got a purple stream. So I'm wondering if that has to do with the uh, differences in the pack and the uh, some weapons. Love that they're paying homage to Harold Ramis as well in the storytelling. Definitely. I mean, they have to. We get a little uh <laughs> we get a little mini puff with the action figure right there. And he, it looks like he's soaked in uh marshmallows. This is gonna be the build a figure. So you can see this is kind of a like He's not solid form, like he's part uh, astral, astral projection, or kind of a translucent spiritual energy forming. And with the horns coming up like Hellboy here, looks pretty damn wild. Of course, we get the granddaughter, and she's got the she's got some kind of a map. It looks similar to the map that came with the uh, Ghostbuster uh, sneakers. That came out uh, last year. Looks like a to yep, Tobin Spirit Guide. We got Ray Rock and Tobin Spirit Guide, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that they're continuing this little effect that they did last year when they did the plasma figures. What they did was on each pack, the cyclotron light is it's a different one that's lit up. And if I'm re if I remember correctly, on Phoebe's. She's got the same cyclotron light that Egon had on his pack. So that, again, is another continuation. Nice. We finally got a proper confirmation Bill Murray is back thanks to the toy info. Yeah, um, I had heard that he signed up, but it wasn't released until the very end of everything. So um, I'm glad Bill's back. Uh, we still have no – we know – I heard rumors that Sigourney uh, Weaver is back, but we haven't had anything released about that yet. I mean, I love that they're throwing these extra accessories here. You got Bill with the with the ESP cards. I love that. I'm glad that they threw that in there. That would have been cool if they would have thrown in the uh, previous ones. Raptor423, how you doing today, my friend? We're talking Ghostbusters Afterlife. The trailer released earlier today. I actually made a video. Um, but I got flagged for copyright doing a reaction to that video. So I had, I removed that video cause I don't want any strikes against the channel. So I figured I'd come on and let's do a nice little, uh, quick live stream discussing what's going on. They released a ton of new toys today. As you can see, we got a new Vankman character updated for afterlife. Um, also I noticed, uh, it looks like the ribbon cable is a little bit more with Ghostbusters 2. Even though this wand is shooting, is laying straight down, it looks like. It doesn't look like it's on an angle. So that would suggest more uh, Ghostbusters 1 Proton Pack. But uh, we get a nice little callback with Winston holding the newspaper up for the classifieds. Looks like the, uh, the love interest is going to be rocking uh, the RTV, the remote control ghost trap. Personally, I would love to build one of those guys. Me being a big Ghostbuster. What do I think of the new trailer? I'm in love with it. Um, the new trailer is amazing. Like many, like everyone else in the chat, um, it did not give away any big spoilers. I mean, we saw the original trailer about a year, year and change ago. Um, you know, about a family moving to town. Now we get a little bit more. We see more, more action with the Ecto. We see the Ecto in full action. We see why the Ecto is the car. Because, well, she even says to her brother, well, why are you working on a station wagon? It's the only one with an engine. 
you know, makes sense. Uh, we got to see Janine. That got me going crazy. Uh-oh, looks like we got somebody. Greedo and a Speedo. How you doing, my brother? Are you there? Hello. Hey, man. Hey, what did you think of the trailer? <laughs> I'm trying. You're... Rob's uh, Pippin Road says... Where we go for a vacation, Bill and his brother uh, own a golf themed uh, eatery together. It's uh, kitschy yeah. and it has a lot of cool, uh, lots of mem movie Here, remember I, memorabilia. I'm, and the I'm having. Okay. Drops in and drops, uh, jumps on stage to sing a bunch of songs. That's cool. Greedo, looks like you're a little bit frozen. If you want to drop off and drop back in, go ahead and try that. Holy Are you there? I see you moving hey. around. Can you hear me? I can now, hear you. Now we got, a, we got a frozen version of you up on screen now. Am I frozen now? Well, no, no. There's a previous version of you that's frozen. Let me remove that. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on with my internet, man. Every day. Uh, it's okay. Things happen. Yeah, it's just annoying. So, yeah, how you doing, man? Yeah. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm loving the, the trailer. I've watched about seven or eight times. It's just amazing. I love it. <coughs> you, yeah, I, I only saw it once. Yeah. Well, I mean, but... I watched it I watched it early this morning, So, and of course, I worked all day, so... But yeah, uh, I was a little bummed that you know I, I got to make my uh, reaction video on my break, threw it up, and then I got hit. Well, you know, we there was a lot of action on it, a lot of people reacting to it, uh, commenting, and then I saw I got a copyright claim, so I removed it. Of course, <clears throat> I guess part of That's the trick cool. is when you do a reaction video, no sound, and you have to keep talking every thirty seconds. You have to you have to say something. Uh, to mess up with the algorithm, but it's still the image. So I just had the image on the screen, no me. I should have had a picture of me also to kind of deter from it. Otherwise, it's like re-airing someone else's broadcast. Okay. So well, I wonder. It is what it is. It. People do it with music all the time, play the whole song through. How did they yep. get away with that? So, I mean, it's a thing. Huh. Weird. Uh, we have Tasman Taylor. What's up, Tasman? Hope you're doing good. We're just talking hey. Ghostbusters. <clears throat> I mean, I'm loving these figures, by the way. Yeah, I was looking uh, let's at see that we... when I walked in here. That looks they look pretty good. I mean, uh, we get the the I'm I don't know her name, so I'm just calling her the girlfriend. Um, <laughs> I mean, we got the RTV, the remote control, uh, the remote trap vehicle. We got Winston holding the newspaper. I'm loving that. <laughs> That's cool. Peter with the ESP cards. That's just oh, hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's you got awesome. a podcast who's just, I don't know if he makes the the name tag himself. It almost looks like an answer to call name tag a little bit. So that might be a little nod to that. It could be. You know? Did they show but, the packaging? <clears throat> no, we don't see the packaging. But I imagine it's going to be like the previous Plasma series where it's got that khaki kind of pattern with the name tags on them. Yeah. yeah. But we get the... Uh, of course, Ray holding the Tobin Spirit Guide. I love that. Um, and we see the, the goggles he's rocking are the modified goggles. Similar to what I did to... These are a pair, pair of Spirit ones, but I had got a aftermarket 3D printed kit to give it the uh, afterlife look. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. <clears throat> I wonder what they're going to do for Egon in this, if they're going to have some kind of <clears throat> you know, flashback or funeral or something in the movie well as far as that goes this is what i know they did hire someone who has a physical likeness you know hair color complexion and height uh comparable to harold ramus at at the time of the first movie so mm -hmm. there could be a flashback or my thought was that you know maybe we'll see an image of egon a spirit come he'll be you know come be, in some shape or form yeah, that's true. He could come back as a ghost. That would be great. Okay, Raptor says her name is Lucky in the film. Okay, Lucky. Well, we'll see if the brother gets lucky. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> are those from the new movie? Yeah, the, uh, Tasman, these figures are going to be the new ones coming out. Uh, this map is actually featured. Uh, they had a similar uh, item when they released the sneakers last year. They came up with a, this big kind of spectral looking map like uh, you see on here. I actually have it because I bought my wife one of the pairs of shoes last year. Uh, one of the uh, GB sneakers that had came out. Okay, let me uh, catch up on the chat here. Hey. Tasman says, what's up, Greedo? Uh, yeah. Rob okay. says, uh, her name is Lucky Raptor. And the trailer looks like Econ with the PKE meter. <clears throat> now, one thing I loved about that... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Um, on my PKE that I use for my gear... Um, I actually weathered mine like that. And I used to get some criticism from a few people who said, well, it's plastic. It doesn't weather. Well, in that move, in that trailer, you actually see there's like scrapes metal. It looks like it's weathered and worn. So I kind of like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> Phoebe, Trevor, Trevor, podcast and lucky. Okay. Egon, yeah. E Egon's always been a favorite. Uh, I've always, I mean, Bill Murray, Bill Murray's a favorite actor of mine. I mean, you know, it's Vinkman. Vinkman can say whatever he wants. And he charms the ladies. Um, mm -hmm. Always, I've always, I mean, just about every every one of the guys I've been partial to, because Egon and Ray built everything. Ray's the heart of the Ghostbusters. <clears throat> and for some weird reason, some people say I have a passing resemblance to, from a distance, to Ray Aykroyd. So I mean, I'll take that. I won't complain. But uh, I mean. Winston was the everyday. He was your average man. He was the anchor, you know. He's the guy who's like, wait a minute, what did you just say? You know, he's the one that says whatever you're thinking of in the back of your head, you know. Like, you know, he in the first movie when they're in jail and they're in the holding cell, he's like, I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to have to get my own lawyer. So Gordon Weaver is, yeah, she, yep. We're going to have Dana Barrett in some shape or form. Don't know yet. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing her suit up. Because obviously my my whole hope was after Ghostbusters 2 that her and Peter got married. And obviously, you know, he probably would want to show her how to defend herself with the proton pack, you know, in case something else happened. Because she got attacked by spirits. I mean, the first movie and then the second movie. If that was my girlfriend or wife, I would say, listen, I'm you're getting your own proton pack. If anything comes after you, you blast the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh can't wait till November. Uh sorry, we sorry we're closed. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I don't I there are some people that caught the Easter egg. Ray has a tattoo on his arm when he says, Sorry, we're closed, and hangs up the phone. Do you know what that is, Greedo? No. It's the Bible vet, uh, passage that him and Winston are talking when they're on their way back to the firehouse. In Ghostbusters 1, when they're driving over the bridge and talking yeah. about, you know, how, you know, Winston says the line, well, maybe, you know, we reason why we've been so busy is because the dead have been rising from the gra grave. And they talk about the Bible verse, um, you know, okay. and that's what's tattooed on Ray's arm. <laughs> So I think that's uh, that's pretty awesome. I even saw someone on a Ghostbuster uh, Facebook group uh, asking if anyone has high resolution photos because they want to get they want to find what font it is and they already want to get the tattoo done. I'm like maybe you want to wait for the movie first <clears throat> yeah. to see if you really want to do that. Yeah, I was I've been thinking about going General Ken those. General Kenobi's bunker. Hey, what's up? He said, "Hell's yeah." I yeah. believe it's a Bible verse when they were. Yep, exactly. That's exactly it, Raptor. Mm -hmm. But I love the. This is supposed to be a build a figure from at least from what I understand. That's pretty. It's cool. kind of weird. This is like a terror dog that's got kind of a Hellboy thing going on. I'm yeah. wondering if this terror dog is going to be like the <clears throat> new version of the Traveler. You know how Stay Puff was the minion of Gozer. That maybe mm -hmm. this is something similar. <clears throat> because it's a terror dog that's standing upright. Which is a little freaky. Yeah, that is weird. Did they make any Marsh Stay Puffed uh, figures yet? There. Well, there are figures, but not part of the Plasma series. The closest we get is this little guy standing right next to Podcast. Oh. So right. we, we get that. 
And I guess podcast is going to be like the tech support of the group because he's not rocking the proton pack. He's just rocking the remote for the trap. Yeah. Or is that for that remote control car? Well, yeah, the remote the remote control trap. Oh, okay. That's what that's and he's right. got some kind of a freaky little thing on his waist, actually. Yeah, what is that? Well, I'm about to find out because I just downloaded that picture. Is it a skull? It looks like a skeleton or something. Yeah. Or just... You got a shelf back there with a bunch of figures from Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah, I got tons of Ghostbusters stuff back here. Figures I mean, I you. have... Uh... I have patches on the wall. I have pictures of Ghostbusters. I actually have a autographed picture of Laura Summer, who is the voice of Janine during the show, during the cartoon, back in yeah. the eighties. <clears throat> I got a bunch of different arts back here. I got the Lego Ecto One that came out last year, the Afterlife Ecto. Yeah, that's nice. Those are cool. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, Guess let's what? In on that. You'll probably have yeah. a whole bunch more Legos to build, I'm sure, once this comes out. Well, I still have to finish my Batmobile, my 1989 Batmobile. Yeah, it's some kind of weird little shrunken head, kind of a, almost looks like it could be a bottle or something. It's something freaky. Potion or something. Yeah. Probably something <laughs> yeah. that they found in Egon's lab. And it looks like a plug on the, the leg here. Where the uh, leg hose connects onto. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. Raptor says, now that's interesting. Kenobi says, that's cool. I think the terror talk was uh, in the ghost trap that Paul let out, maybe. The figure is based on that. Question mark. Could be. But yeah, it's kind of kind of weird that we see that because the actual uh, leg hose. I have one right here. Because they were flight suits that, that the guys wore and those sometimes those hoses were used for air and sometimes they were used for uh doing something. Why do you Taking think they yellow? <laughs> you can say it pissing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else we had some other toys that came out today. I'm trying to go back. To... on so many pictures. Uh, hmm. Let's just go back here. Christmasers. So who we got with us anyway? Raptor? Who else is here? We got Raptor. We got General Kenobi. We had uh, Rob's Pippin Road. If I'm saying that right, I apologize if not. We got four people watching right now. You got four crazy people. Kenobi had a video the other day. It had some nice Star Wars legacy figures on it that mm -hmm. I miss. I used to yeah, have a I mean, There are some... These are supposed to be Plasma Series figures you can order. The um, little Stay Puffs. My wife wants a set of those because she loves Stay Puff. Yeah. How can you not? Uh, I, have, I have the Plasma Ecto. It's just a shame that they don't have an Ecto to scale that the figures will fit into. That's really what we want, you know? Yeah, I mean, they made the Batmobile. They wanted the size for six-inch figures. They should yeah. make a Ecto-1. Yeah, they have this site, which actually has swappable heads. <laughs> I've already nice. started seeing people 3D print these, too. Oh, of course. <laughs> I had this one. He's still in the package. The Transformer, Ectotron. Oh. Got the marshmallows. I actually have them on my display back here. Oh, they in stores now already? This is going to be a hot ticket, too. They're going to have these little mystery containers, I believe, at Walmart. And I think it's just Walmart. Let me pull it up here. It's on Macari right now, this listing. Basically, it's a mystery container. You don't know which Stay Puff you're actually going to get. You got a melted one. <laughs> That's great. One with a head around its neck. Just all kinds of freaky ones. <laughs> That's awesome. Like I said before, I definitely think that's going to be the this year's Grogu, so to speak. Oh, I'm sure. 
But uh, this this came out last last year. And this was a hell of a build. The Secto. Oh yeah, that's the one I have on my top shelf up there. It's one. It's not light, and I mean, you even get the little mini uh, ghost trap here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, we got in someone new in here. Nerd Porio Life Form. Hey, how you doing today? I was saying, uh, saw the trailer. Can't wait. Definitely uh, going to cover this on my, my channel. Definitely. And hey, if you ever want to do some uh, Ghostbuster discussion, uh, let me know anytime. You can hit me up on Instagram at Dave's Dimension or just email me at Dave's Dimension 78 to gmail.com. Saying hi to Raptor423, uh, General Kenobi's Bunker. How you doing, new Nerd Poriel? Yeah, I mean, this right here, I mean, it's cool that they gave us that. This little piece is actually a little Stay Puff bag you can put on the front uh, front seat, the stay, like a little marshmallow bag that comes with it. You don't have to put – these are actually decals right here, the rust. So you don't have to put that on. You could have a Ecto that's clean. But what's uh, great about this is everything is functional on here. Like when if you push the Ecto down a flat surface, you see the sniffer and the, rad, uh, the radome are moving along with the steering wheel too. Oh, that is cool. I mean, it's $200, but I mean, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, I mean, it's the whole thing is awesome. Even the engine actually opens up. Wow. And you kind of have like little gears and stuff inside the engine, which is pretty cool. There's a trap, so if you pull, there's a little gas tank on the side here. If you pull that open, that drops the door, and that's where the uh, trap rolls out perfectly. Oh, so, I mean, when they made this, cool. they they really made it uh, just amazing. Yeah, when are you getting it? <laughs> I that's what I have up there. Oh, that is that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought this was. A, it basically takes the whole shelf almost. Yeah, we gotta see, see that. the. Uh, I have this. I have the uh, popper and uh, have Stay Puff and Sli I didn't get Slimer. Uh, I have a box of the cereal up there. I'm trying to get some of the other toys that came out today. Of course, I have the Spangler one. <laughs> Gotta have the Spangler one. Let's see. Uh, there's some other ones. These are the only thing I get for movies. I love the Hot Wheels. <laughs> I do have the Hot Wheels up there too. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. These are talking. Okay. Yeah. Here. Here's some of the other ones. There's a this weird kind of remote toy trap that come that comes. Uh, comes. Uh, but it's got a weird the way the shape of that ghost sticking out of the trap is not something for kids. Let me see if I can enlarge. <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah that, that looks you, bad. Do you get it now? <laughs> yeah. My wife saw this. She sends me a picture. She's like, I thought this was blank. And I'm like, Yeah, yeah it's, I'm sure people are going to be complaining about that. I'm Don't sure it's trip. removable. <laughs> Don't do any squats over it. Yes, have some is going to be going over the trailer later. Yeah, uh, they, they, you know, they always are on top of the ghost on Ghostbusters and uh, all, all the other toy toy goodness. Uh, yes, have some podcasts. I don't know if you're familiar with them, Greedo. What's that? Uh, there's a podcast on. Uh, they do a video and a regular podcast. It's a group called Yes, Have Some, which is a reference to Lewis Tully's interaction with Egon in the first movie. You know, have some coffee. Yes, have some. You know, they do oh, a okay. weekly uh, podcast on. Uh, they also do toy, another one called Toy in Anxiety, and they do one for a. Uh, Bad Batch called Bad Bitches, where they do a recap of the shows. So they, okay. they do a lot of stuff. They're pretty much all over the place. Uh, Nerf Perel Life Arm. Uh, I had the Ghostbuster Nerf gun with the yellow foam uh, pellets as a kid. I'd love to have some uh, Ecto Cooler, too. I mean, well, they re-released re the, uh, the Ghost Popper. That's what it was called. Back in the day, it was like a dark gray one. Now it's a navy one. I actually have one on my shelf. You can find them at Walmart's. Okay, mm -hmm. if you can't find one at Walmart, um, you know maybe if you want, message me. If you're in the United States, I can ship one to you. Because <clears throat> a lot of my Walmart's have been having like six, eight, even twelve of them on the sh on the top shelves. They're kind of peg warming right now, which is crazy. Or you you probably can uh, go right on Walmart's website 
and just ship it to yourself. Um, uh, it's, I mean, it's almost, it's virtually identical to it, to the original. You know, in fact, let me grab one. What was the uh, Bad Batch one called again? It's called The Bad Bitches. I'm not kidding you. That's the name, Bad <laughs> Bitches. Bad Bitches. Yeah. Hey, Dave, let me know if you ever see a major blood on the shelf anymore. I gave mine to a friend and I never found one again. Of course, I doubt you heard me. <laughs> Told you, got my uh, Stay Puff Marshmallows. Oh, there they are. I also have the minis. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Looks identical to the original one. Let me uh, bring the screen back up. And it even has the cutout targets in the back. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, I'm keeping this one in the box. Uh, got one for my wife, too, because she's been collecting Ghostbusters as well. And let me pull up Rob this one. Pitt this guy Pitt I got Pitt. about a year ago. Well, a little bit more than a year ago. I'm trying to get this back on. The uh, Ectotron. This is the first one that came out. The Transformer Ghostbuster. Yeah, the Ecto right. one. Um, and I actually got an aftermarket sticker set. So he kind of looks more Ghostbusters 2 with the hazard on it. Hazard tape on there. Yeah, Some extra cool. decals. Even's got the Autobot symbol at the bottom right there. And I got tinted tickers, uh, stickers to go on the windows there. So <laughs> they actually did a Ghostbusters crossover cartoon. Or not cartoon, but comic book. Where he he was a, a scientist named Ectotronus who came to Earth investigating weird, strange uh Cybertronian energy. It was Starscream's ghost. And oh my. During the battle that he arrives, Ecto-1 is demolished, so he takes the form of Ecto-1 and is actually driving the guys around. He even has a little proton pack on the back. Yeah, that's awesome. I have that's an cool. afterlife version of him, but that's staying in the box because that's going to be, yeah. I don't usually keep stuff in the box if you guys know me, so. Right. Uh, but we got a nice little cool uh, popper here, uh, a different version of a popper. With little marshmallow heads right there. And then we got the... I don't know if you've seen the Ecto that, that came out. There's a new smaller scale Ecto. And that's what these figures are supposed to uh, you know, go with. Oh, okay. I guess these figures will fit in the Ecto. It's almost like a mini version of... Uh, remember when the real Ghostbusters, real Ghostbusters came out? They each had a little ghost. Yeah, yeah. Back in the 80s. And I think this is kind of that kind of a play on that let's see go back to downloads there we go yeah I, Rob, I, do, I do like star wars a little bit <laughs> just a little bit yeah it's all right <laughs> yeah here we get a better look we have the bug-eyed ghost which is actually from the real ghostbusters toy line yeah that's right here's the muncher which is that's the ghost they're supposed to be chasing down the street with the ecto I'm not sure what these two are, but these are some pretty good figures. And we actually see this is this a spoiler? We see podcasts with the Proton Pack, actually. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah. But yeah, we here's the uh the little stay puff uh ammo for that gun. I definitely see, and I love how this gun is kind of decked out like the Ecto. We have the ladder, the tube, we have the lights and the sniffer right there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Yep, uh, on the Yes Have Some ch uh, YouTube channel. He was like, what was yes. it? So those are the 3.75, 3. right? Yeah, I'm guessing those are 3.75. I mean, they're, they're going to be the smaller figures, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we got Marvelous Collectibles. Hey, brother. Hey, man. My fellow Ghostbuster from another mother. How you doing today? <laughs> I, me and him were messaging earlier today on Instagram. Uh, I know he he he's loving the trailer too. Uh, yeah, Raptor says just like the Kenner toy line, almost. Yeah, exactly. I think it's like the next generation kind of. For yeah, I mean, obviously good. these are going to be geared towards the kids, 
But my wife already wants a set of these when they become available. So we'll All definitely right. be hunting for a set of these. I'll throw them with my Star Wars crap. Why not? Yep. <laughs> it was nice to see the Ecto-1 on that trailer again taken off. Well, yeah. Now, the consensus is, in case because a lot of people are wondering, oh, wait a minute. Well, how is the car, how is the Ecto-1 in, you know, looking the way it, it looked like in part one and the beginning of part two? How is it in a barn, and where are all the other components that were on the Ecto-1A? Well, a lot of people believe that that's a different car. That they got another 59 Caddy and did it up. Uh, because, yeah. you know, why would everything be perfectly as it was in the first first movie, beginning in the second, and then suddenly they have all this other gear. Where's this other gear? So, right. And some people believe that the car that they actually did was... Uh, for the movie was actually the Ecto One A, or what was left of it from the actual production. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have. Wonder how. Uh, wonder how those marshmallows will do around the pool area. Pow, 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 splash. Hey, you never know. The, that can be more of a, a harder plastic, not just like a foam pellet. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Everything good, guys. Enjoy this awesome stream. Thank you, marvelous. I'm just doing a short stream. I think we're gonna. And it's probably around eight o'clock, because uh, I know usually around uh, maybe eight or nine o'clock. Usually sleeping does his, his little uh, his Tuesday night show. I just wanted to kind of recap some of the Ghostbuster awesomeness that's out there. I want to try and get the picture of that Ecto so you guys can see that Ecto. A friend of mine already got the Ecto, and he said putting it together. There's a sticker set that was it's reminiscent of the Kenner Ecto one. So if any of you guys are into that, I'm trying to find that right now. Well, let's check out Amazon. What does Amazon have here? So they do already have these for uh, pre-order December 1st. So if anyone's looking for the Stay Puffs, they do have them <coughs> for uh, for pre-order. 26, uh, nah, that's not bad for, for a set of that. I mean, considering how much things go for nowadays. Yeah. If you're looking for a Spangler one, don't go through Amazon. Um, they have it at about 120. They were previously selling it for 191. Go to Hasbro Pulse. They're still selling it for 99 dollars, the original price. Uh, so here's the plasma ecto. They're not even listing the price on that. So it uh, looks like they really don't have our, everything here. So let me go back to Google here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let me type in ecto. Let's just go straight to it. And also, if anyone has big lots, they have some uh, Ghostbuster headphones on sale, and they're selling uh, women's T-shirts, uh, Ghostbuster style, kind of baseball style T-shirts. There, uh, also on sale, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty low. Okay, let's see what can we find. Now, this is one of the new toys that just came out too. It's a wand. That has extra components that you can swap out. Let me see if I can find a different version of that. We should watch uh, the trailer. What? <laughs> we what should was watch that? the trailer. <laughs> I should. We can sing through it. That way you don't get copyrighted. You can always remove the stream too. <laughs> <laughs> Or just muted, I guess. Well, my sound is muted right now, so nobody yeah. would really hear it. All right. And then that should be okay. <sighs> but, I mean, everything was just tremendous. Yeah. I loved the whole thing. I mean, I loved... I mean, obviously, the mother's going to be a love interest for Paul Rudd, and we kind of know that. But you see uh, the daughter working on stuff. I'm wondering if this is, she. you know, it's kind of hard to tell from the angle. Could this be a PKE meter that she's repairing or some other equipment she's working on? We don't know. Yeah, could be. Obviously, they're out on a date. I'm glad Paul Rudd's in this. Douche wild. I love, like, she finds this puzzle here, which is just hilarious. 
floor puzzle. She figures it out, finds the trap. Yeah, that is great. It makes you wonder. I was just, I think I just lost my train of thought there. Gotta love all the antennas on top of the roof. Janine. Yeah, it's nice to see her again. My favorite part. Working on the car, of course, parts of the car falling apart. <laughs> That's great. I mean, just think about that. A 59 Caddy in 2020 zooming through a cornfield that fast and like that easy, like it's just like it's a race car drifting through the field is just insane. And I love that Jason Reitman put a freaking Corvette engine in that. Yes, that's always nice. I hope is this live? Yes, it is, Blue. It is. <laughs> Blue! Of course, now we get all the ghosts coming out. Yeah. Now, one thing that wonders, like, okay, we see the ghosts coming out of the mine shaft. <clears throat> Why is it the ghosts are just now coming out of the mine shaft? Which is one question I have. Well, they must. Could it be because it's sensing a descendants of Egon Spangler is near? <laughs> well, they might have opened something you there? or did something that we don't know of. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Well, I had my volume down. Oh, they probably do something to unleash them or find something and yeah. open it or turn something. You know how they're going to do it. It's the Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th thing. Teens do up to no good. They shouldn't be hanging around there, making out. Yeah, that, yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Love. She finds the commercial. Who are you gonna call? Now, see, I thought this was just a commercial when they released this, uh, like a month or two ago. The when they released uh, this little yeah. commercial, I thought yeah. it was just a commercial, but apparently, it's part of the movie. And I love that, that. That is great. I thought it was a commercial too, but <clears throat> I got to leave that in there. That was hilarious. Yep. Like you're, uh, I think you were saying earlier. Yeah. Gozer. I mean, and that's Gozer as we saw her in 84. So yeah. either that that's a repeated form or. We had some worshippers, some Shandal wor worshippers who maybe built that after part one. Yeah, That's I'm interested to thought. know. I'm interested in how they're going to play this out and make the story go. Definitely. <clears throat> I love that. That's just insane. Yeah, that was cool looking. Because if that's a rip in the spear world, then anyone can come through, not just bad spirits, but good spirits, Egon. True. Yeah. I hope we see Egon somehow. Let me go back to that one. That was a pretty good uh, still right there. So obviously we get a better picture of the statue right there. And that really does, I mean, even closer. It either looks like Gozer or Griff from Back to the Future 2 <laughs> with the helmet. Oh, yeah. The box Griff. cut right there. And that <laughs> has to be Gozer climbing out. I love this. I mean, that's just reminiscent of part one. That's just too cool, yeah. Yep. And this, I know it's a mine worker, but doesn't that kind of remind you of the uh, the taxi driver from the fir first film when all the oh, ghosts yeah. are coming loose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I love that Jason Reitman's doing all these practical effects. He's not just relying on all CGI. He's doing practical, like we're seeing the you know the ice with the mist going on. Egon will come back as a ghost and save the day. Yeah, that's my thought too, Blue. That's definitely yeah. my thought as well. I don't understand why Ant-Man is, is in a Ghostbusters movie. You want to hear something even funnier? Um, when it was announced that Paul Rudd was going to be in Ghostbusters, a friend of mine took one of his Diamond Select Ghostbuster figures, popped the head off, took the head from Ant-Man, and put it on there. So it was Paul Rudd in Ghostbusters, in a Ghostbusters oh, suit. Nice. And that's the one, that's one figure we haven't seen. We haven't seen Paul Rudd in a suit. <clears throat> we haven't seen him rock a proton pack. That's Which right. suggests, and we kind of know, even in this movie, everything, or even in this trailer, all indications is 
he's gonna get his ass possessed. Yeah, he could be the one. I mean, we see this. I mean, that's just straight up Lewis right there. <laughs> And not for nothing, how does she know how to use the capture field to, to grab the ghost? Smart kid. Because <laughs> uh, anyone who's a big Ghostbusters fan, you might have heard of a game called Ghostbusters Video Game and the remastered version that came out about two years ago. The original game came out about 10 years ago. In there, you are hired as a new Ghostbuster, a fifth Ghostbuster for the team. Takes part after Ghostbusters 2. You go there, you're basically testing all the new experimental equipment. And first thing that happens is you have to catch a ghost. And basically, Dan Aykroyd, Ray, is telling you how to use the proton pack. You can fire it, wear the ghost down. Next thing you have to do is capture. You use the capture string, which grabs the ghost. And that's what she's doing right there, which hmm. is pretty badass. I love the effects. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> there very, we go very cool awesomeness really cannot wait for it mm. no yeah that'll be awesome uh, mm -hmm. where are you i want to pull up that new new uh there's a it, i don't want to call it a kitty version of an ecto but that's really what it looks like let me see if I can find an image of it. <laughs> Walmart in the movie. That means more toys. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean... Uh, yeah, more yeah. Walmart exclusives. Nobody will get. Yeah. Oh, um, I have something coming in a couple weeks. I They did a reissue of the Kenner Ecto-1. Oh. I have two on pre-order through... Uh, through uh, Walmart, and we'll see if they actually uh, ship to me, and we'll see what yeah. kind of condition they come in. I'm actually ordering two. I'm ordering one to actually display, and the other one I'm going to put like in vacuum seal and put it in my closet somewhere for storage. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, David. It, I do have one here. I have one actual Kenner uh, Ecto-1 that a friend of mine did a restore on it, because there's special chemicals you can use to remove all the yellow and make it right. white. Yeah, I think it's something like this. It looks similar to this, but it's going to be a little bit different, I think. The yeah, I the more kitty version one that's supposed to fit the smaller figures. Right. <clears throat> That'll be awesome. David Carell, how are you doing today? This Ghostbusters has to be, be better than the last one. Yes. <laughs> uh, don't worry. This one, in this universe, 2016 never took place. Carell, David Carell saying, hey, hey Blue. Uh, David Carell, are you looking forward to Joker's trivia? I still can't believe who I'm facing. I got the, I have to face 1,000th Ghost. When is that? I'm not sure when it's taking place, but I found out just this past week I'll be facing 1,000th Ghost. And then, I mean, if you're if you're familiar with him, you know he he know he knows a lot. Oh yeah. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun fun competition though. You know, one thousandth ghost versus the Ghostbuster, so it should be fun. It all <laughs> depends on the questions you get. You can still, exactly uh double double J was saying that uh the rules are gonna be this. Uh the contestant gets to pick one subject and then the wheel's gonna pick two subjects. Oh, see. So, so that'll be even good. more interesting because that's gonna throw more of a more of a mystery, more of a you know mm -hmm. random uh, factor to it. So, yeah, that'll be good. Laugh out loud. Honestly, I'm glad it's you and not me. I know <laughs> nobody wants. I mean, come on. Let, I mean, let's face it. The guy knows everything. He's literally a walking an encyclopedia of pop culture and uh, toy trivia for the past. I mean, he's got stuff going back to Lost in Space and Buck Rogers. Back, you know, he's got everything and anything. So it'll be interesting. Did you hear they came out with it? Yes. Uh, he's asked, Raptor says, did, did we hear that he came out with a Ghostbusters app? I have it right here. It's last night it was available on the App Store, but now it's officially available on Android as well. It's got gifts and stickers that you can use. Um, they even have a, 
an AR augmented rea uh, reality app portion of it. So you could go outside to your driveway and make it look like the Ecto One is there and take a picture of it. That is cool. I didn't. I don't. Don't even know who I'm up against. I'm trying to remember who you're up against. I can't recall, but I know it's Clink versus Apprentice Ewok. So that should be a good one. To see maybe who who knows more about Star Wars, or if they don't get any Star Wars categories, that would be hilarious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but both. I mean, they're both knowledgeable, but they're they're both awesome people. So I. It's about uh, GBA news games and stuff. Yep. Y'all should be glad I never made it on the trivia. You think our lucky star? Why, why, why? Because if you would have made it, I would have loved to see you and Blue go at it. How is it? Nice. I got to download it. Yeah, it's going to be tricky to find it in the App Store. If you're an Android person, just do a search on Google on your phone, and you should be able to get the link for it. Yeah, that'll be a good match. Clink versus Ewok there. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I, I told uh, Thousand Ghost during his live stream yesterday that uh, it's going to be me and him. And he was like, he started saying, well, that's it. Congratulations. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, don't even go there. <laughs> I don't know half the stuff that he does. So but we'll see what happens. I do have tons of useless knowledge from the 80s. I mean, I grew up in the 80s. I was a kid. I'm only 42, so we'll see what happens. That's right. David Carell says Clink and Ewok should be a good match. Clink and all Ewok should be close one, but no Star Wars. Exactly. Hmm. Questions. Let me pull up the uh, Ghostbusters Afterthrow Life. Neutrona. Well, I'll let you get going. I know you're getting off soon anyway, so I'll just head yeah, out. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, cutting out soon. I'm trying to find the, the toy version that they came out with. It's actually a little, little cool thing where, like, Different interchangeable parts. I'm not finding it though. Oh, that's a nice cool. Somebody did a repaint of uh the afterlife. They made it look more uh, real Ghostbuster style. Yeah. It's cool looking. Very cool. A lot to look forward to. I know there's a lot of theories going on already. Everyone's got their own little theories. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be an yeah. awesome movie. Uh, uh, now, as long as things, and I don't want to jinx it, as long as things don't get worse, because I think uh, in California, there's uh, more cases of, you know what, coming up, <clears throat> and they want to reinstate indoor uh, max. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, most, uh, from what I've understood, and I could be wrong, most of the people there are, uh, that are getting, that are becoming positive are people who didn't go for the vaccine. So... Yeah, I know. I don't know why. I mean, uh, that kind of makes sense in a way. You know, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but that kind of, you know, makes sense. Well, yeah, it totally does. It makes no sense why they're not getting it, but whatever. Uh, I mean, well, you get the, the anti-vaxxers and, you know, all kinds of different beliefs and thoughts out there. Unfortunately, I even have a family member who is completely against it, but, I mean, you know. Yeah, the world will never get back you to You can't force people. I mean, more yeah. cases, why? Isn't the shot working for them? No, no. it's people who aren't even going for the shot who are, you know, uh, getting that stuff. Of course, this is the new proton pack that they kind of threw out. I can see some people uh, modifying this with the actual electronics. Oh, good, a tornado warning. Here we go. This is This is the one I'm talking about right here. This is a separate part. This is a separate part. And then you have a wand separately there. So it's a nice kind of cool little toy. Let me see if I can pull this up. And by the way, anyone who, who's a Ghostbusters fan, you definitely want to check out Ghostbusters News. Uh, Jay, uh, guy's name is Jason. Yeah, another Jason in Ghostbusters, right? Uh, he's actually up in uh, Canada. He has an amazing channel, amazing Ghostbusters collection. And anything and everything Ghostbusters related, he covers. Yeah, he actually has his own website here. It's ghostbustersnews.com, but he has a YouTube channel. He's even doing his own patch. Uh, this is the Ecto. This is some of the toys they have. These are non-moving PKE, but it's a nice little rep representation of it. A ghost whistle. 
Here's the little wand by itself with the little string sticking out. Here's your little PKE with a little switch. Nothing lights up. But I'm sure we can do something afterwards with that. And it so this pack. is like adding extra parts to the wands. It's pretty cool. Let me just catch up on chat here. Now it will spread. Uh, Wolfpack Toy Review. How you doing, my brother? What's up, Wolfpackers? He's How asking doing, everyone. Man? Sneaking in uh, a watch from work. Yeah, just uh, going over Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer that came out today. Jason, yeah, Raptor423 says Jason is awesome. Yes, he is. Uh, laugh out loud. Uh, I had this girl tell me they're tracking people with the shot, and I'm, and I'm looking at her. If they really want to track you, they'll use the phone <laughs> perpetually stuck uh, to you, to your head. Yeah. Uh, it's just like there was a, people were saying, yeah, if you, wherever you have a shot, you can put a quarter next to your arm and it'll stick. It's all magnetized. I'm like, really? <laughs> David Carell says, hey, what's up, Wolfpack? Wolfpack says, hey, what's up, David? Yeah, I just wanted to go on, go over some of the Ghostbuster toys that are coming out. Uh, Wolfpack, you might like some of these. We got, uh, to this is a continuation of the Plasma series. We got the surviving three Ghostbusters. We got Winston, Peter, and Ray. And if, you know, if it looks looks like their their suits are weathered too, they're actually worn because we got like some some looks almost like brown kind of shading, like wear and tear. So we have that there, and of course, uh, we got the kids. So there's definitely a lot of cool stuff coming out, Wolfpack. So if you're interested, uh, we got this piece of a uh, build a figure that's going to be part of that whole wave. So that's going to be interesting. We got some cool accessories. Just to recap, so there we are, guys. So just want to thank everyone for jumping in on this stream. And if you're not already following, uh, if you're not part of our friends and family with uh, Dave's Dimension, please hit that red button below. Hit that bell for notifications. And I just want to thank you guys for jumping in. And we'll see you on the next live stream. Uh, there's supposed to be a lot more Ghostbusters items coming out soon. A lot of merchandise coming out. Um, stay tuned to your uh, local Walmarts. The uh, Ghostbusters cereal will be coming back because right now uh, it hit the stores uh, la this past spring. It's going to be hitting the stores again probably more towards October, November when the movie comes out. Even though the trailer says Thanksgiving, rumor has it through a very reliable source that it will still be coming out uh, November 11th. So you guys want to keep an eye out on that. Uh, so Ooh. just want to thank everyone for jumping in. Uh, Blue, Raptor, all of our new friends who jumped in on the stream. Thank uh, Wolfpack, thank you for jumping in. Hope you have a great day at work. Blue Sasquatch, <laughs> when is the new Speedo coming out? I don't know. What? Well, uh, hey, maybe we could. Uh, maybe Greedo she can uh, design a new Ghostbuster Speedo. Yes. There you go. The front of it will be invisible. Oh God. <laughs> or the, yeah. Hey Blue. <laughs> Greedo ain't afraid of no Speedo. Hell no. Take care, y'all, he says. So, uh, <laughs> Greedo, thanks for hopping on. And uh, until next yep. time, guys, keep on busting, and I'll catch you on the flip side. See you, bud.